guys today we're coming out to Grand Canyon. It might rain a little bit too in Grand Canyon and it's also checking the weather last night. But it was not bad. We're at the Desert of the Year too. And um, the thing was that I got left in the middle of the night right after the board came to me. No, I didn't go home and got ready and changed. It was like 4 20 when I left the Green Canyon because I wanted to get there like super early in the morning. The problem was that I had to sleep. But what ended up happening was I didn't take the camera. My way up there, I, was, I camped out. The majority of the life that camp set and then camped there. And I woke up like it was all super late. So I actually didn't make it to the Grand Canyon until like freaking like past, past fall in the middle of the day. And uh, what I mean, I still got to enjoy it, but not. The thing was that I was there for like a good two hours at the Grand Canyon. I had to work the next day, so I couldn't really sleep over there. So I had to camp out again. So what happened was I had to like sneak around the floor to try to make it back to the hotel before I like walk over the floor. I mean, I had to leave. I think I left around 4.30 or 5.00. Because I was trying to be back to the tent. Because I was trying to go to work and be quick to pick up a check. When I go to the tent. My other work. But, um, but anyways, on the way down here, there was an accident on this road. Somewhere around here. I can't remember the accident was. I think it's dying now. But um, there was an accident there. And I actually made it back to the on I don't know, I think it was around like 9 30 when I was already using people like at that intersection of China, right next to China. But there was an accident and I was on the ramp. Not on the ramp, but like the higher altitude right there. there was like, I was on that hill, so I couldn't really leave the road. Like get on the side of the road and leave. Or go over the traffic or anything, it was just fucking blocked up everywhere. So I was just stuck there for like three goddamn hours. Just sitting there on my bike and every car was with me. Because the accident was like over the whole lane, like it was a bad accident. So we were just stuck there for fucking hours. Just through the hill right here. And I'm like, well, I guess. So I actually didn't make it home until like midnight. It's annoying as hell. <laughs> but anyway, today, have you planned this trip for a little while? I just hadn't been able to take a really cool trip to the Canyon of Hair. Um, I thought you were going to live, you know, I was going to go with somebody even in that day. And I was going to do some day, but then I had to go to work. And then work. And it's just over here, like, always getting to go. Finally, today I'm going. I already have a school to go to class now. Everything's going to be set.
is because I, I don't think I had my microphone set properly. So I don't know how the audio is going to be from the last like two hours. But so I stopped at the Denny's to eat amazing fucking avocado chicken salad and a smoothie. This fucking diet. Uh, then I took off straight here full of fucking energy. Uh, I think uh, I was checking out one of the rest stops or rest areas. I didn't stop at it, but I did videotape some of it. I videotaped the terrain. It's fucking gorgeous, gorgeous terrain on the way from Phoenix to Flagstaff. Then, what else happened? I said I was gonna stop at the rest stop when on my way back so I could show you guys the view. And then right now I just came through the mountains on that side. Like a great day for some gas. I got a call from my mom in the process, but <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, I mean I just filled up my wedding flag sound, like I said. I'm not even an hour away from it. I'm way less. Maybe I get 40 minutes. Oh. Mm, things that 
I think it's back that way. I think it's behind there. Hmm. Yeah, because it was behind the Dairy Queen. But I'm going to go turn around over there. Oh, it's right there. Fuck. See, I knew it was this way. Fuck. <laughs> That's funny. So I just checked into my hotel. So hotel is good. So now you just have to ride up to the Grand Canyon. I think I'm gonna fuel up before um, halfway through there. I know there's a gas station the Chevron midway. So I'm gonna have to refuel there. Well, at least that's what I marked on my notes to refuel there. So I'd run out of gas because I don't think there's, I don't know if there's a gas station in the Grand Canyon itself, but you know, better be safe than sorry. Uh, besides that, it's fucking hot. I thought it was gonna be fresh as fuck. It's fucking hot in that <laughs> in town. It was nice and fresh on the outskirts, but fuck, now it's hot. Sweating fucking balls. It's like you always hit every red light and here in Flagstaff. Like, you don't miss a red light. Fucking annoying. I checked out my messages from friends and stuff. It's funny. <laughs> and then my, my cousin is like, my cousin just turned 18, so he's all like, I'm, I registered to vote now. I told him to vote for Trump, just for the lols. Ugh. So I can get the porter and shit. It's called Evil Rider. It's a bar. It looks pretty cool. Then there's another one called Gran Granny's Closet. I'm gonna check out one of those. I figure out why, which one. The Evil Rider looks cool though, cause it's like a biker. It's a biker thing. It's like, there's always bikes there. They're, like in the, inside the store itself, there's just, it's just full of bike stuff. So I might go there just to check it out. It looks like a cool little bar to take some pictures with the bike and stuff. I don't know, I'll see. But that's when I come back. Right now I'm just gonna straight to the Grand Canyon, chill out there for a little while, take some cool pictures, see if I can find some cool, like unique pictures from the bike. And then uh, besides that, do we set? Oh, I saw in the story of um, when I came back, when I came here in 2011, like way back, when I was just a little shit out of high school. Uh, I took a trip here from two visits to school and stuff. And, um, I, we, they took us to the restaurant, like in the downtown area. And, like, uh, I don't remember if it was Vietnamese or Taiwanese, but uh, they told us like they recommended uh, this curry, curry that was um, it was like a spicy one, like the spiciest they have. I don't think it was a challenge, but it was just like a really spicy. One. And you know, me being Mexican, I have to fucking do it because you know, fucking love spicy shit. Um, what's it called? Um, that shit was when I was when I started eating it, it didn't hit till like a couple of like sips later. That shit hit hard. I mean you could I couldn't breathe. I'm sweating, my face was red, numb. I couldn't fucking see, I was going fucking blind. I mean the the thought in my head was like I need to start writing love letters and like letters to my family. I mean I need to say goodbye to everybody because I'm fucking dying. But fuck, that shit was fucking me up, but it was so good. Ah oh, I wish I could like Remember where it was or what it was called? So I could go back. <laughs> but not not tomorrow. Not tomorrow I'm going to tomorrow. But anyways. Ah, I wish I wish I had more time to stay here and chill out for a while. Um Oh and I saw the I think I think I have a video of the monument thing. But uh well, those I'll get on the way back. But there's this this uh the statues were like this giant like porcelain. They look like they're made out of porcelain. Uh, statues thingies. They're like lumberjacks and then there's uh, cowboys and I think Native Americans or portrayed as Native Americans. And they're cool because there's like one in every other town. So kind of like hidden ones and there's, they're all over the US. I'll, I'll link the description to the map and I'll put some pictures up and I'll put it up. I'll figure out what the name of those things are. But uh, they're all over the US, right? I think only the U.S. I don't know if there's another country as well. But they're like lumberjacks and they're like cool because it's like a like a thing to do, you know, like go around like the country looking for all of them. Take, maybe take a picture with all of them, like, uh, like uh, Easter hunt. You know, it's really cool. Like I've seen all the ones. I mean, there's one in my hometown in Tucson. Uh, there's one in Casa Grande, I think it is, or Eloy. There's one in 
infinity or two infinity because i forget but anyways there's there's a few that i've seen already but i think one of the things on my bucket list is definitely to go find all of them take a picture with all of them that's definitely a thing that i want to do as like as i grow older you know, as i ride more maybe later on when i have a better bike in the career once i'm out of school and stuff and have some like good vacation i think that's a, that's the thing that i'm gonna do is just travel the u.s to find all of them because that'll be a cool last thing to do and if i can do it with somebody else maybe a friend or something that'll be super badass <laughs> just cross country to the country with my friends that'd be super cool That's expensive. Fuck that, dude. I already pay fucking taxes for this shit. Doesn't the government take care of the national parks? God dang it, man. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I already need to like, fucking charge money. Fucking assholes. Fucking buttholes. I don't know why they have to charge, though. They should just charge you if you're gonna stay. You're just passing through, like, just hanging out. Maybe ask for donations or something. Fuck, pay to stay. Let me pay to pass. Hello. You take your cards, right? Mm -hmm. 25. 25? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't change them, right? Because that last time they charged me like 15. No, it's called the confirmation fee. Because mm. mm -hmm. I, I remember last time the guy, like, the guy hooked it up and gave me the bicycle and charged me. It's pretty mesmerizing being here, dude. It's so surreal. Like the mountains, the river down there. There's a lot of hiking spots down there. But besides that, I mean, there's a lot of cool points, like on that side, on the road. But um, I think this is the best place to come see the canyon is from this point view. Like, this is like the center of it. I know there's on the northern rim. So the opposite side of this, there's also cool views, but it's the same thing, the same canyon. But anyways, like once you're here, like it still looks like a picture just because of how far it is. I mean, I'll take I'll, I'll post up some like good quality pictures that I took with the phone, and you can still see because it's so distant that the closest spot, the closest looks you know, real. I mean, I'm I'm standing on it, but the further you go. Or the further you see it looks starts looking kind of fake like a picture it's kind of weird <laughs> as you can ask people that have been here they, they say the same thing that it looks like a picture in the background but anyways so this is where i'm at right now there's that cool tower in the back you can see it you can see pretty cool from up there, but I think the best way to see is to hike, hike down the little trail and come down here to take some pictures. 
you get a better view of the whole thing. And you can still see the water down there moving. And then there's a general store and some a bunch of stuff to do up there, but I think we all got curious for, to see this. And um, anyways, I'm gonna go down to some other spots down that away. Hopefully, I can get the bike a little closer so I can take some pictures with the canyon in the background. I I don't know if there is, but I'm gonna go find try to find one. And besides that, that's it. I mean, like I said, it took me around. Uh, like six hours to get here from Tucson on the bike. I mean, I had to take some stuff, but like driving, driving, like about six hours, not bad. I'm gonna be here for a little while, then I'm gonna head back to Flagstaff. And we're gonna go check out that place, Eagle Rider. In the meantime, just enjoy the view, the pictures, and I'll post up the ride in a second too, on the ride to the second place that I wanna pull up to. And yeah. I just time lapsed the, the ride over there. Later, you guys. Anyways, so that's the Grand Canyon, guys. I mean, like I said, there's more point, point views up ahead, and I mean, there's point views all the way down the road. And now we're heading to the, to the actual visitor center, and the village is right next to it. Uh, there's better, hopefully, there's better view angles for you guys to see. But that, like I said, that's one of the best views right there. The that's your view. That's very nice and surreal. It looks like it fakes it to me. I've been there three times, but it still looks fake. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the pictures, the videos. I hope you guys are still enjoying the whole ride by itself. But yeah, I'm gonna drive up to the visitor center. I'll get auto camera, turn the laptop up ahead. Anyways, fast forward to that.
this is the other point I wanted to show you guys. This is by the museum or the museum. Yeah, the geological museum, whatever it is called. Where they do all the rock study, but it's another cool point view that you can get to see like most of the Grand Canyon. All these well deep parts. And that shit is massive. <laughs> I mean just looking at it it's surreal. Anyways, just wanna get show you guys this side. Keep driving. Girl, he's alive. He's a stereo girl. The blue dream. It's funny. These cars are super nice, and I want one. Look at that. Ah, uh, that's so cool. And I was just about to tell you guys that I hope I see a moose or something on the way back. <laughs> Not a moose, no, but a fucking deer. Because last year, the first time I came, huh, the first time I came to the Grand Canyon, I saw a freaking, um, at the year, like a but the big old fucking horse and shit. And that's freaking badass. So I was like, oh, I hope I can see another another animal. Look at that. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Yeah, guys, that's the Green Canyon. Right for me. No, from here on is 